And uh, a quote that has gained a lot of traction um, as of late is something that was a comment made by Fernando Alonso. Um, and it had to do with Lewis Hamilton. He said that, quote, it would be nice to end our careers together. I'd love that. And obviously now people's heads are swirling as um, they should be. Lawrence, I'll start with you. What did you make of Fernando Alonso's quick little quip there about Lewis Hamilton? Um, yeah, Fernando always has a knack of saying the right thing at the right time, doesn't he? So he was talking to the Daily Mail, which is obviously a big British publication uh, that writes sorts of headlines around Lewis Hamilton over the years. So, um, yeah, he I, I think he knew he was uh, onto a winner there with that readership. Um, and it's, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't doubt it either. You know, they did have this very fractious year together. Lewis Hamilton's first year in the sport, 2007, uh, Fernando Alonso's first year after winning two world championships consecutively and uh, the mix of that basically Fernando believing you know that he should have been the number one driver in the team and kind of well according to some sources being being told as much by McLaren but then Lewis Hamilton coming in as this incredibly talented probably the best rookie F1 had seen for you know decades um and uh able to to challenge him that created issues between the two of them Fernando and Lewis has said this as well. Okay, so Fernando has said that you know a lot of that is down to the management of of that situation. Again, he believed that he was the number one driver, and in reality, he wasn't. Uh, but both drivers have said that they don't, they never really held a grudge with each other. You know, once they started talking about it several years later, and if you see Fernando and Lewis together now, they're not they're not enemies still. You know, they 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 don't hate each other. So I think they they could be teammates again and. Being that bit older, I think it would be a fascinating dynamic. And um, I think for Fernando, uh, I, I can see why he'd want it as well, because I've no doubt that Fernando, in his heart of hearts, believes he can beat Lewis because, for you know obvious reasons, Fernando Alonso will believe that he's the best driver in the world. And so if he could then beat Lewis Hamilton, seven-time world champion, in equal machinery, it goes some way to kind of um, vindicating his belief that he's much more than a two-time world champion, which is what the record books say, and is actually, you know, uh, worthy of, of many more championships. The reality of any of this happening is is, is quite mm. a different uh, <laughs> proposition, I think, given the driver market and where everyone is. But um, maybe I'll let Nate speak to that side. <clears> of the yeah, I mean, I, I think it would be amazing. Um, but it is difficult to see where that would be. You know, they're both, I, I think, running out of years to make this happen. You probably think Fernando's probably signed his last F1 contract, probably the three year deal he's on currently. Although, you know, if Aston, if Aston are fighting for championships at the end of that contract, there's absolutely no way he doesn't sign a new deal if presented to him. Um, but I think them ending up at the same place would be fascinating because either, either Mercedes would have to get rid of George Russell or Lawrence Stroll would have to get rid of his son from Aston Martin. So those two things see, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying George Russell's. A son to Toto Wolf, but they're pretty close. You know, it's like they they, are. There's, there's a real close bond that's been built there. You know, for over years. So that would it would be quite remarkable if they ended up together because you can't really see them going to other teams. I don't think Alonso is ever going to go back to a place like Ferrari. You know, he's very much pretty much in the last place he could probably race. So, yeah, I mean, if if it did happen, it, it would have followed a monumental breakup of some kind. You know, uh, I, I, so I feel like it would be an amazing story. Um, but it's, yeah, it's very difficult to see. I mean, those are probably the two most unlikely things we'll see. George Russell leaving Mercedes. Um, certainly, I mean, unless it's of his own volition, I mean, you know, being forced out or even more unlikely is Lawrence Stroll getting rid of Lance at any point. Um, but yeah, again, for obvious reasons. So yeah, I hate to, I hate to be the party pooper there, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure we'll see that. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.